I mean, one of the concepts you have in the book is the settler colonialism and the notion of civilization that the tribes bring. And it, I mean, it, it really sounds like the Indian territory is just sort of a carbon copy on some level of a Southern state. And in part, I'm kind of wondering how much do tribes like the Cherokee, Choctaw Creek, how much do they see themselves as that civilized tribe and slavery being part of being civilized? And they are still Native American, but then how is that relationship between them and say Comanche or Cheyenne, which are their neighbors on the Western side? I feel like that's where you are really able to tease out the identity, um, at least for the kinds of tribal leaders who are leaving records for the everyday kind of native person. We don't have those um, as much, but generally it does seem like they really do see themselves as different. Um, and so they, they see slaveholding, they see their involvement in agriculture, their involvement in capitalism as something that does differentiate them in important ways. Um, especially when these Western tribes are raiding them and taking those things because they don't kind of want to work for them themselves. But there also, I think, is an important facet of Native identity that all of them keep, even people who, like, might look on the outside like a white American, um, like, for instance, like mixed race people, um, like many of the Chickasaw and Choctaw leaders were they are still like very proud native men who um, defer to often their mother's cultures um so it's it, it's kind of like a weird mixture like yes in many ways it is like a southern state but the kind of tribal sovereignty aspect and tribal identity i think is still very important 